Okay, so for this question, it's both reduced and oxidized. And so let's just do the oxidation numbers here. So this must be plus one, and this must be minus one. And so what we've got here is uh, this one has reduced. So let's start with that one first. All right, the other one's oxidized. So reduction here. So we've got we've got ClO minus goes to Cl minus. So the ba the atoms are balanced. So that step's done. Um, the next step is the oxidation state. And so we've got uh, minus two here and plus one, and we've got minus one here. So to get, we need to add two electrons here to get that to a similar state because it's gone from plus one to zero to minus one. So we add two electrons here. Um, the next thing we need to do is balance out the charges. And so I'll use green. And so what we have here is an overall charge uh, minus one here. Uh, and you've got a charge of minus three over here. So we need to add two H pluses over here to make them both minus one. And then finally, we need to add H two O's uh, to make that the same. So if we add H two O, that balances out the, the two hydrogens there and there's the one oxygen. So that balances out nicely. And so we can go on to oxidation before we add them together. So oxidation, ClO minus goes to ClO3 minus. So the oxidation states are the same here for this one. And we haven't done this one yet. So that's uh, minus two. That gives us a total of minus six. So this must be plus five. And so how do we get from plus one to, my, to uh, plus five? We're gonna have to get rid of four electrons on here. Okay, so the next step is the hydrogens balancing the charge on both sides. So this has a charge of minus one on this side, and this has a charge of minus five on this side. So we're gonna have to add four H pluses uh, to get them both to minus one. Okay, uh, so the next thing is to balance out the H's and the O's. We've got four H's over here, so that would give us nicely two hydrogens here and 2H2O and hopefully the oxygens will balance out 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we, we've finished with both sides and then we just have to add them together. Uh, so we get rid of the electrons here uh, and so we times everything here by 2. Uh, that gets that to 4, that gets that to 4, uh, 2 and 2. And so in the final analysis, what color haven't I used? Uh, brown, I guess. Uh, we can get rid of the waters, we can get rid of the higher H pluses, get rid of the electrons, uh, and so we add that together. So that's a total of three ClO minuses, uh, gives us two Cl minuses and one uh, ClO3 minus. You're going to have to add the states in as well. Okay, and so that's number three done.